I always like to try and think of who is going to be the best fit for that show or that project, working with their qualities and their characteristics and how the, how they, through their designs, also tell the story. So being a designer myself as well, I feel that the collaboration between designers and director and the, the, the actors are very, you know, one-on-one. -on -one. They all need to work together. So to me, it, the design team is uh, crucial. The most rewarding part has been the rehearsal process. And that in itself has really just been marvelous. I've had an actor who loves to work, who loves the consummate process, and so we were able to build layer by layer throughout the entire production so that each character became defined and was clear. Every character had an arc. It didn't matter if they had one line, five lines, but how significant were they within a particular episode of the play. And I had a wonderful stage manager, assistant stage manager. The design team is just tops in, in the Arizona market. One man show, over 37 characters, with you know, German dialect and, and the story of, of this brave woman who lived and survived, you know, during the Third Reich um, in, in Nazi Germany. I think that that is a powerful story to tell. It's touchy subjects. It could be a little, you know, put people in un uncomfortable positions, but that's what theater is about. You know, we have to push those boundaries, and, and if we don't make you feel something, then we didn't do our job. It's written by Doug Wright, who is absolutely brilliant as a playwright, and let alone that the play itself, although I had never seen it, I knew of the play, and so the very fact that it was about uh, the transvestite cultural icon Charlotte Molesdorf, it was so intriguing with it being a one-man show and the multiple characters, but the more I got into it and was reading the play, the structure moves like a symphony. There are so many beautiful, beautiful moments all the way through that we're moving from one movement to another, and which was so representative to me, not only of the music, but of Charlotte's life, but also of the characters that revolved in her world. I really want the audience to take away a sense of hope and a sense of that we are all of one people, really, and that what our heart tells us is so significant and so important, and that we value things in the world. Charlotte has a wonderful line about not discarding things in life, and we, are, we so easily dispense or discard things, and people become things. So hopefully we are looking at humanity and mankind. And besides, why not honor Charlotte? Because it is Women's History Month.